Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this live stream and today I will show you how to replace the primary menu bar with Divi's full width module uh, menu module. So this is part of the DV design initiative and I'm going to use the carpenter layout pack. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure that you too. I've mentioned a link in the description below. And if you're not an Elegant Themes member yet, make sure that you check out DV. I've mentioned a link to the product page where you can go ahead and discover DV for yourself. And without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so let's take a look at the Carpenter layout pack. So this is the overall look and feel that you can expect from it. And what we're going to do within this live stream tutorial is get rid of this primary menu bar here at the top and replace it with Divi's full width menu module. And we're going to place that right below the hero section over here. So the first thing you will need to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and go to your theme options so your DV theme options by going to DV theme options over here and we'll need to disable the fixed navigation bar so by default this is enabled and to be able to pull it off we'll need to disable this so um, the full width menu module will be fixed on our pages um, there will not be any fixed navigation or anything, but you are free to place it wherever you want on your page. So that's a big advantage and you can style it uh, using Divi's built-in options as well. So once you disable this option over here, go ahead and save your changes. All right, and the next thing you will need to do if you have not done that already is create your menu by going to appearance, menus, and over here, um, you know, add all of the Carpenter layout pack pages to your menu and make sure that you enable this primary menu option over here and save your menu. So I have already done that, uh, but you can go ahead and do that as well. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to style the uh, menu in um, the theme customizer and I'll just go to the website over here and go to theme customizer and although we're going to get rid of it and use the module instead you can always leave this primary menu bar on specific pages or posts or whatever so you can decide for yourself where you want to get rid of it and replace it with um, the full width menu module so for these reasons you will need to style your primary menu bar anyways um, even if you're not going to use it on certain pages just so it shows up correctly and um, matches with the layout pack that you're using or any other website that you're building um, even if you're not using a layout pack you'll definitely need to style that if you want it to appear on your posts and stuff like that so I'm going to the primary menu bar over here and I'm going to make some modifications that match um, the layout pack so as you can see this is the overall look and feel of it and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my text bold and uppercase as well and i'm also going to change the colors so i'll use a white text color over here and i'll do the same for the active link and i'm going to use this uh, orange orange uh, background color but you can go ahead and decide that for yourself uh, however you want to um, make your website look and feel so you can modify these according to your own needs and drop down menu background color as well so then i'm just going to publish it and exit the theme customizer Okay, so there are two ways to hide uh, the primary menu bar. As I've mentioned before, you can hide it on a specific page or you can hide it on your entire website. And I'll just start off by showing you how to hide it on one page in particular. Say, for instance, you want to hide it on the home page. Um, you simply go to your home page and enable the visual builder over here at the top. And then you will need to open your page settings. And to do that, you will need to click on the icon located at the bottom of your page. And over here, you can see this settings icon. And if you click on it, you will be able to add some CSS code that applies to the entire page by going to the advanced tab over here, going to custom CSS um, settings over here and just paste the following CSS code. So I've mentioned uh, this CSS code in the blog post and you can find the blog post in the description below. So go ahead and 
um, you know, get the code or you can just read it off the screen. It's just one line of CSS code and what it does, it, it just basically um, disables the primary menu bar from showing up. So it's actually still there, but on this particular page, it's, it's just not showing up. And once you do so, make sure that you save your page and exit the visual builder afterwards, because I'm going to show you if you want to you know, disable the primary menu bar, not actually disable, but just like hide it. You can do that um, to your entire page by going to your WordPress dashboard over here and going to the theme options um, of Divi again and scroll down. And over here in the custom CSS box, if you, if you um, add the CSS code, it will be applied to all of the uh, pages and you know, all of the posts to your entire website actually. So if you do want to, you know, make this count on your pages only and not your posts and all of that, you will need to add these to uh, each one of the pages individually. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the full width um, menu bar to my page wherever I want to. So I'll just do that to the home page first. And for that, I'm going to enable the visual builder again. All right, so as you can see, there is no primary menu bar. And the first thing you will need to do over here is add a new section um, right below your hero section. And this is not just the standard section. You will need a full width section because the, um, the module is only part of this particular section. And before adding any modules, go ahead and open the settings of your full width section. And the first thing you will need to add over here is a top border. So go to your border settings, go to the top border, and I'm going to add a border of seven pixels. I'm going to use this color for it. So it's the same uh, orange color that was used throughout the entire layout pack. And now we can add the full width menu. So over here, just click on this. Uh, icon over here and add the full width menu. And if you've added um, the primary menu to your um, to your website, you will find it in this list over here. So as you can see, all of these uh, menu items show up. And I'm going to add a black background color to my um, to my module. And then I'll go to the design tab, open the links settings over here, and I'm going to change these colors. So I'm going to use a white active link color, a white drop down menu text color, a white mobile menu text color. And I'm going to use left text orientation and a light text color. So all of my menu items show up. And then I'll open the drop down menu settings over here as well. And I'm going to select black for each one of these. Um, so, you know, once there's a, a menu item that has some drop down menu items to it, um, it will still be readable and the background will be black. And then I'll open the menu text settings over here as well. And I'm going to modify this to make it match with the carpenter layout pack. So I'll use ultra bold over here. And I'm also going to enable uppercase so this looks really matching with my page, as you can see. Um, and you can reuse this on your other pages as well. So you will need to add this manually to each one of the pages, but you can make this a global menu, uh, a global yeah, module so that every time, or section rather, uh, so that every time you make a change to it on one of the pages, it will apply to all of the pages at the same time. So go ahead and save this. Um, to your um, library. And make it a global item. OK, so now it's a global item. And I'm just going to add it to um, some uh, other pages as well. So I'm going to save my page and then exit the visual builder and add this to my other pages as well. Um, you know, it just asks, um, it asks for a little bit of time, uh, a little bit of manual work, but um, 
once you have uh, the main thing going on, you can easily add these uh, in just a few clicks. So I'll just enable the visual builder on the landing page. And over here, click on the plus icon, add from a library, and add it to this page as well. So you can go ahead and do this for each one of the pages on your website. Um, and you can actually play around with all of the settings um, that are included within this section, within this module. So I'll just show you, um, for instance, what you can do with it, something else. Um, you can also, you know, for instance, I'm going to remove the border over here and I'll just add the section dividers. So I'll just search for one. So I'm just going to add a top and bottom um, section divider. So you can choose for yourself how you want it to look like. And then I'll also increase the spacing over here. So these are the kind of things you can do with it. Or, for instance, you can add the dividers to your um, previous section and next section. So I'll just get rid of this border once again. Open the section settings over here. It's a little hard for me to open the settings because of um, the padding between the row and the se section. So I'll just switch over to wireframe mode open these settings over here and switch back. So I do that quite often um, just to speed things up. I like to switch between wireframe mode and the visual builder. So I'm just going to add it to the bottom over here. I'll just make it black. And I can do the same thing over here. So this is, um, I'm working on the section right below um, the full width menu module section. And I'll add a top divider here as well. Divider color is black. And as you can see, you can create a really customized results and because of the fact that I've um, saved this as a global module, this should apply to the home page right away as well. I'll just show you really quick. Oh yeah, I added the dividers to the previous and next section. So if you want to make that apply to um, to all of the pages, you will need to do it manually, or you can add the section dividers as, a, as I've shown you in the, um, in the first uh, tryout to the section in particular and play around with these settings. But you know, the other side of this is that um, you can you know, make the menu look differently on different pages. That's, that's a nice thing to have as well. So let me just show you what it looks like on different screen sizes as well. So I'll just enable the visual builder once again on the home page, um, just for you to see that it looks really good on all screen sizes. So this is the tablet mode, and this is what you can expect on phone. All right, that was all for this live stream. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we hope that you're enjoying this ongoing DV Design initiative where we try to put something extra into your design toolbox each and every week. Do you want to contribute to the Elegant Themes blog and share your knowledge, skills and experience with the Divi community? Make sure that you check out one of the links in the description below and find out how you can do that. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video or a live stream.